Okay, my name is Peggy Flynn, and um, this is Ashley Flynn, who's our special daughter. She was born June 4th, mm -hmm. um, 1991. She'll be 20, yeah, she'll be 22 in June. Okay. Well, you know, when she was a baby, she looked like a normal baby. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed, you know, when they're like three months, they start, start supposed to start turning over. Mm -hmm. Well, she didn't start doing those things. And, you know, I knew that they were supposed to because, you know, her brother yeah. did all these things. And so I took her to the pediatrician. I said, she's not doing these things. And he said, oh, you know, different children develop at different times. So mm -hmm. we didn't think anything about it because she looked like a normal baby. Yeah. I mean, she scored almost perfect on app guard mm -hmm. scores and everything. Um, and so um, finally, at about six months, I went back and I said, I, you know, something is wrong. You know, she is not doing developmental things that she should be doing. She's not sitting up. She's just not doing anything. And so I got an appointment with a developmental pediatrician in Columbia. So she was finally diagnosed at one year of age. Uh -huh. And they diagnosed her with cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. um, but then she really doesn't quite fit the cerebral palsy. She has some of the tendencies, like she has tight hamstrings mm -hmm. and some tremor and stuff. And so her um, neurologist asked to get a muscle biopsy. So we went to Georgia, to Emory, and had a muscle biopsy done to see. He was thinking she had something called mitochondrial disease. Okay. She has a deficiency in the first chain, and so therefore all the other chains are defective. And what it is is the energy that goes to the um, her parts of her body is deficient, mm -hmm. and so that is why she, what she has, she tested positive for mitochondrial disease. Okay. Real strict, strict routine. But she, in the morning, is very, you have to move very slow with her in the mornings because she has seizures. And you never know when she's going to have one, and she'll start turning blue. So you can put the oxygen on her, and it helps her not turn blue. You know, she's fed 24 hours on a feeding pump. Oh, okay. Because she she can't get bolus fed because she, uh, she has uh, reflux. Okay. So she has to be fed slowly all day long. I mean, yeah, she shows emotion now. And, you know, if she doesn't feel good, she'll fuss. Yeah. Um, but she's very tough. Mm -hmm. She doesn't cry a lot, and if she cries, you know there's something really bad wrong. She'll laugh. She'll get yeah. tickled about something. She's got a good sense of humor. She loves outside. Mm -hmm. She loves the beach. Yeah. She'll go out there. She's got a special chair for the beach with big wheels and yeah. a big umbrella over it, and she'll sit out there all day. She loves books. She likes. Um, she doesn't like fiction. She likes. You, you think people say you know it's a lot to do for a lot to do for, but it's just so much more she gives you. In return for mm -hmm. what you have to do for her. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just can't describe it. I mean, we'd take nothing for her in the world. I mean, I wouldn't, if I could go back and reverse it, I wouldn't do it because yeah. she's taught me a whole lot. But with her, everything is special. And every day is a gift for her to be here.